Hello everyone, my name is Sick, and welcome back to War of the Chosen, where we are playing on Legendary Difficulty, as well as Iron Man mode. So today it's time for Operation Steel Dance, where we need to protect a device. This should be a relatively easy mission, even though it, you know, it says easy, but this mission type on the whole seems to be pretty easy most of the time, I think. I hope. We can get an engineer out of it. So, let's have a look. Usually, because this is still an early mission, I want to bring up, or bring along a few rookies so I can train them up. But I also want to have a more experienced soldier along as well. So I think, in the case, you know, we don't really need to get close right now. I don't think we don't have a sniper yet. But I'm going to bring along myself so we can uh, have a healer later on. I want to level myself up. Let's have a look. We have one of my friends, Marek, and I have another of my friends, Simon. They are actually brothers. <laughs> you might notice that. And you might also know which one is the younger and which one is the older guy. Alright, and... Well, another one of my friends. So let's bring him along as well. See if we can level them up and get them to grow powerful. Now, let's see. We might want to bring along a flashbang here. So let's have a look at all the items that we can build. We have the flashbang grenade. That's very good. We have the med kit. That is very useful. But I think most of the guys, they're going to go down with a single shot in this, this early in the game. So a med kit might not be worth it. A flashbang to minimize the damage we take might be more useful at this point. So let's build a flashbang grenade and I will outfit it to myself. I think, let's see, I have an aim of 68 compared to 65, 65, and 65. Actually, you know what, let's bring along a, a regular grenade. Actually, it doesn't really matter, does it? No, it doesn't really matter. Let's bring the flashbang and let's launch this mission. All Dutch, all the way. <laughs> Let's see how we do. Sky Ranger Menace ready to This is more than a double dutch. Actually, this is more like a quadruple dutch. The resistance set up a data tap on the advent network through an access point in this area. They've been retrieving data critical to the alien's All right. latest operation. So it's in the underground areas, which is rather... This type of mission seems to be, or tends to be pretty difficult, because enemies are very close, it's easy to get flanked. We need to lock down the area and secure the device at all costs. On the other hand, we might be able to get very close without tipping off the enemy. I'm not entirely sure yet. Right, let's bring up my friend Remco, see what we can see. Nothing yet, so let's pull him up even further. Usually this first turn you won't see any enemies, I guess, so it doesn't really matter. Right. Okay. Simon can move one turn further away, which is awesome. And then there's no cover for my other friend, so we'll just put him down there. No real choice about that, I guess. Well, we have some enemies, they sound like they're off to the right. We have an officer, two troopers. That's 4 damage. I can't see how much HP this thing has left yet, but we shouldn't be too worried this early in the game, I don't think. Alright, let's bring up Simon into heavy cover and see what's up. Still nothing. Alright, so this is closed off. If this tunnel is safe, we should be able to uh, engage these groups of, uh, of soldiers without any problem, I hope. But we'll see. Right, nothing yet. Let's bring his brother over as well. Get him into the corner. Let's get Remco Got it. over behind the barrels. And as for myself, this isn't great because that's an easy flank. And I can stay in the rear a little bit better. The flashback has a wide radius of effect. So that shouldn't be an issue. Enemy movement ahead. That sounds like a sectoid. Definitely, yeah, we have a sectoid right there. That's 3 damage. Now the unfortunate thing is these guys... Ah, alright, so we got eyes on this group. 
We don't want to move forward because that would give us eyes on the other group. That would be very bad indeed. We have a 66% chance to hit on the trooper. My friend is in heavy cover though, so I think he is going to have to be the one to make that shot. Equal chances on the officer and the trooper. And again, we don't really want to move forward. What we do want to do is get everyone into heavy cover if we can. Which might not be available all around. We have no view from up here. We don't want to run up any further. This is all low cover. We only have heavy cover over here, which is fine for Demko, but then we still have myself to worry about. And from back here I can't see anything, though I could heal people or provide cover, but if everybody's in heavy cover, I don't really need to use 8 protocol. So, yeah, what to do? I guess, you know, these guys will run up into heavy cover as well, which means that overwatch shots are our best chance, I think. Right, so let's put him into heavy cover. I will keep myself over here for now, but I will put Ramco into overwatch. And my friend over here might get a view as well if they run over in this direction, so he could get a shot off, and he is in heavy cover, so let's overwatch him. Now let's take the first shot on the Advent Officer. We're in their sight. Nice, that's three damage done already. Hopefully we'll get a few shots more, a few more shots in. Enough to kill, hopefully. All right, there we go. Nice. So we have one more damage to do. Ah, oh, that's unfortunate. I'll get him next time. Now, of course, we don't have the grenade, we only have a flashbang, which is unfortunate. We have 31%. I might want to keep the flashbang for the sectoid in case it mind controls anyone. That's the really unfortunate thing here. Alright, we have heavy cover over here, and we could still get a shot off at the advent officer, even though it's going to be a very low percentage chance. But that's going to be fine. I, want, I just want heavy cover for everyone. 28%, it is a chance, I'm going to have to take it, I guess. Because they're not going to get away from heavy cover. Yeah, okay. They're bit oh, we have another Advent Trooper and Sectoid. We got a mark on my friend Simon. Because everybody's in heavy cover, that is going to help them hit. Alright, so that's a miss, that is excellent. This guy's moving up. Oh, and another miss. That is great. Really great. Wait, what? Did they get another shot? Ah, oh, that's the group we engaged. I think there was a group of three, probably. Yeah, that's 28. That's not great. We know that if we move up a certain distance, we are going to trigger the other group. Which is something we are not quite ready for. Can we get a grenade over on this guy with Mark? No, we cannot. Okay. So now we know. Remco, let's get you your first kill. I want to get rid of this officer and his aim ability on my guy. Because that is bad. 30%. Again, it's not great. We don't want to move forward, actually. Because that is going to trigger something. We could go through here, though. Let's have a look. We could put him Rolling. into heavy cover right there. Heading to that location. All right. I think these guys are going to uh, stay put. Well, he's out of actions, but Simon might reload and then Overwatch. Mark is going to Overwatch, and I'm going to Overwatch in case this guy decides to move, which I don't think is highly likely. But you never know. Nope, he doesn't. Oh, and that's another miss. I can't move. Ah, this is so unfortunate, man. Look at that. This is so many troops. We are going to have to engage all of them. At this point, though, we can run Mark up into heavy cover. And that's going to trigger other groups, but we have no choice. We have to move forward and prevent more damage from being done. 
And by the looks of it, we're only triggering this one extra group, and the other guys are safe. So, that is something, at least. 58. 47. There's no heavy cover to move into, which is, again, really unfortunate. <laughs> Alright, let's see if we can get a shot off with Simon. Nothing yet. Another shot with Remco. There we go. That is a kill. That's the second kill already for him. That's really good. And actually, he is the pacifist out of all of my friends, so that is quite interesting. <laughs> Alright, 44%. It's not great, but we're going... Yeah. That was a miss. Okay. <laughs> Alright, so we have the sectoid left. He is going to go for a mind control or a zombie race. This guy might get a shot. Or take a shot. If he decides to move. We could go for a flank on another turn. This guy might decide to move because we were getting very close. I'm not sure, but I'm going to put my friend up, or myself actually, <laughs> up in heavy cover and overwatch in case he does decide to move. Yeah, there's the zombie race. And because he's in heavy cover that could be problematic because we can't kill him. Ooh, he decides to move up into low cover. That is interesting, and he misses his shot. Ooh, and now we're triggering... No, this is one of a member of the first group that we triggered, so... Alright, so we have overwatches, right? Overwatching that guy, yeah. But my friend is in pretty good shape, I guess. Nobody else can move for the flank, though. That's annoying. I could move up, throw a flashbang... Could I, I could reach them with the flashbang right now, actually. Now we'll get rid of, this, of the zombie. And there's no way to throw this flashbang where I hit all three guys, is there? No, it doesn't look like it. Alright, let's go for it. We need to get rid of the zombie. We need to minimize the amount of enemies we are engaging at any one point. So, zombie's gone. This, these guys are... Getting pretty terrible aim. That means I can ha I can have low cover and flank one of these guys. Well, I can't flank this guy anymore, but we can flank another guy. Moving to position. Which is going to be well enough. Let's take that shot. Because it's the best one we're going to get. And we still miss. Wow. 47%, <laughs> so that's pretty decent. 46, that's pretty good as well. At this point, though, would we be better off with throwing a grenade and blowing his cover up? Potentially killing him. And then moving forward. It's going to put us into low cover, but these other guys are disoriented. We might get a kill on this guy this turn. So I'm going to go for the low cover, and on the next turn we can go into heavy cover. Right, so that wasn't the kill I was hoping for. But hey. He's exposed. 66%. Let's have a look. There we go. Remco is on a killing spree. And like I said, he's a pacifist out of my friends. So, <laughs> that's very interesting. Alright, so he can't move very far. Please miss. Whew. <laughs> there we go. Excellent. Alright, where can we go with you? We can't flank with you. We could flank with him. We can't get into cover. That is unfortunate. We can move up the ladder, but then we are we're going to be exposed. This is a flank we could make. Chance to hit is pretty low though, but I think it pays to be aggressive. So let's attempt it, and we can still try some other stuff in case it doesn't work out. But it does. Awesome. Got the kill. All right. So nobody else is in a position to shoot. We don't want to run up here, because if we run up here, then we are going to trigger the other group. Which will be bad. So let's run him up into heavy cover. Heavy cover. 
And then finally... Yeah, we don't want to go there. That would be bad. This guy might attempt a... A mind control next. So we need to be in a position where we sh where we would be able to flank him. I guess. These guys would. Actually, you know what? Let's, uh, yeah, let's run right there. That would be fine. This orientation removed, which is rather unfortunate. Oh, and these other guys moved off. We have 18 HP left on the objective, so that is something we are going to have to deal with. No mind control, which is great. Maybe we get a shot off for free. That could be cool. These guys are exposed, so this might work out, I think. Actually, they get a free move first. That is unfortunate. That is really unfortunate. What is my friend going to do? He hunkered down. Okay. Alright, so all of these guys are now panicked. We could go for a flank from up here. That would be a pretty good chance to hit. So that is exactly what we will do. 100%. Oh, yes. Yes, please. There we go. <laughs> Knocked him over backwards off the ledge there. Cool. 28% on the sectoid. These sectoids are going to be the worst. The absolute worst. I wish we had some advanced guys with run and gun or something, but we don't. So we're going to have to make do. Alright, so from here we could hit the trooper, which will be a decent chance. From here we could only hit the sectoid. But again, I want to keep all of my guys in heavy cover, if I can. This would be bad. We could go for a flank, but of course we can't shoot there. Well, we have heavy cover over here. Let's go for heavy cover to that flank. Location. 31. Yeah, that's not great, is it? Alright, so you know what we can do? We can get a shot off from back here. And we can aid protocol. So that my friend has a bit of a better chance not to get hit. Everybody else will be in heavy cover. So, yeah. I think that's going to work out for the best here. Get a shot off at the low level uh, or low health guys. See if we can clear those out. 47%, which was expected, but... Oh, it's a miss too. Unfortunate. Oh, he needed to reload, so that's a wasted turn for him, essentially. That is really good stuff. Now we got the zombie race. Oh, that sucks. We really don't need the zombie race right now, because we probably cannot kill this guy on this turn. And we get some more damage done. Okay, we get about four, five more turns, maybe, before this thing blows up, if I'm being optimistic. Which I definitely am. Alright, so we could go for flanks from low cover. 58% on that guy. Oh, this guy might be flanked by Simon here. If we move up, yes, he would be flanked. And heavy cover too. Moving out. Flanks the sectoid as well. Which is great, 98 or 94. But this would be a kill if it hits. And crits. <laughs> no! Okay, Why? The 94% chance is what messes us up, isn't it? That's 69 on that thing. Ooh, yeah, that does remind me. We need to kill the zombie as well. Or kill the guy controlling the zombie, but that's not very likely. Alright, so what are we going to do? 69. We are probably going to need several hits. So I'm in low cover still. That is really unfortunate. This is a pretty decent chance. And this guy is sure damage, I think, if he flanks. So let's take that shot on him. Oh! No! That is not good indeed. Holy shit. Okay. So I can't move. That's an issue. That guy is going to hit us if we move, I think, but 
I don't know, man. Let's let's. I don't think you can reach me over here and still hit. And I do need to start dealing some damage to the sectoids. So, ah, oh, god damn it! <laughs> that is the worst of luck, man. We can't kill this, so we might as well try to kill the the advent trooper, I guess, or move further away. Though he might be able to hit him as well as me, about the same distance. So I guess it doesn't really matter. <laughs> the pacifist, man. <laughs> the fucking pacifist. That's it. Go kill some more. Another mind controller or another zombie? What is it going to be? Yeah, that's another zombie. Damn. Both of the sectoids are still full health. They're going to be problematic. Ooh, and a mind control? Potentially. Now that failed, so that's good. But I'm panicked, so I can't do anything for the next turn. But I'm in heavy cover and I'm hunkered down, so... Now all that remains is the zombie. And what he is going to do. And he is going to flank my guy and hit him. Oh damn it. Alright, so I'm panicked. Which is really unfortunate. We got 47 on that guy. Now the Psy zombie is controlled by... That guy back there. Which is unfortunate. What are we going to do about this? We can move over here. Take a shot at the zombie. We need to kill the zombie because we're not going to kill the sectoids this turn. And that guy usually has a really good chance to hit. So, 85. Yeah, let's take it. Cool. Kill the officer again. And then we finally have one more shot for 47% from high cover. Unless we want to attempt a flank here, which we very well could. But we are very likely to be flanked from that location as well, which is really unfortunate. Man. You know what, screw it. We need to do damage to these guys, so we're going to have to tr attempt it. There's no choice there. Mark might be killed by the zombie, though. Not sure. Ooh, that's five damage. That's really good. That's half his health gone. Just like that. Alright, so he wasted a turn on that. Well, not really wasted it, because they're making good progress and I can't do much about it, but... Damn it! No! Alright, so we need to kill something. We need to kill the sectoid here. And you need to not kill my guy. <laughs> oh, That is too damn close. Alright. A flank. From back here is possible. It's heavy cover. It's flankable, but so is almost everything else. I guess, you know what? No. Heading out. Let's take that flank right there. Maybe get the kill. Hopefully get the kill. <laughs> nice. Okay. Enemy eliminated. That is one less threat we need to worry about. Alright, so... He is out of ammo. That is terrible news. We can, we can pull him back and try to get a shot off on this zombie. And again, the zombie is the better choice here because the sectoid cannot be killed. Or at least not this turn. Alright, so we can't see anything from back here. We could get a flank on the sectoid. Or we could go for this kill. If it hits, it might also do just do free damage and then we're fucked. That's concerning. The zombie is most likely going to go after him, which will be a kill, which is unfortunate. I need to keep my friends alive, damn it. So, we're going to move over here, I guess, and take the shot and hope for the best. Oh, no! Alright. Let's have a reload then, and have an overwatch. And hopefully get the kill on the overwatch, but I kind of doubt it. Ooh, and he wastes all of his turns. That is excellent news. Alright, he's going to try to hit my other friend. It's a hit, but it's not a kill. That is... Yeah. Not the worst possible outcome. Oh, and a miss too from the zombie. <laughs> Alright, so we might get away with this. 
can we get flanks on the sectoid? We could. Can we get enough flanks on the sectoid to kill him though? Do we have any grenades left? That's another good question. This guy cannot get a flank, but we can get a grenade on him. Blow up his cover, maybe. Moving to designated coordinates. Alternatively, we could try to kill the zombie as well, but I think the sectoid... If we kill the sectoid, we kill the zombie. The grenade is guaranteed damage. And four damage too, that is really good. And then we have my friend. We can go into heavy cover and take the shot. From the flank. 70%, yeah, excellent. Ah, oh, come on, bro. You killed so many, you could kill one more for me. Alright, so that's cover from, from my side, I guess. We in, we could go into a low cover. Position confirmed. It's not a great position to be in, but we need to do some damage here. Four damage. Alright. So now we have a choice. Do we kill this guy or do we kill this guy? And I think the choice is pretty simple. We're going to try to kill this guy and hope that the zombie gets killed in turn. We don't want to. Yeah, let's okay. go into heavy cover over here. 84. Let's make it work. Come on. <laughs> of course. Of course that wasn't going to work. Uh, that's going to be a shot. Ooh, damn it. That is lucky. But then we still have the zombie to, to deal with. He's maybe not going to get killed. Oh, five damage. Bleeding out. Oh, man. All right. Let's reload. He's still savable. Come on. There we go. I knew you could do it. <laughs> Zombie killed, All Simon is saved, and, the area is and everybody Status lives to, li to fight another day. Two wounded though, but that's fine. Alright, so we only have the one guy, I guess, that isn't in the picture because he's wounded, but everybody else can take a pose. It's a decent start. We have one kill, or one guy killed, two guys wounded, but two missions won. We get an engineer as well, which is really good. And some more promotions as well, I guess. So let's have a look. 24 days and 24 days. Yeah. Right, Remco, what are you? You are the sniper. Yeah, that seems appropriate for all the shots you made, this, uh, this mission, yeah. I saw my friend Burti. <laughs> He is the Grenadier, so he's the youngest guy of my friends, but he gets to carry all the heavy shit. Then for myself, we are going to get medical protocol. And then finally, another sharpshooter for Simon. But he's wounded, so he's not going to count for a while. Then we get an Advent Officer Corpse, we get Illyrium Core, that is really good. An Advanced Hair Trigger, and that is pretty good. An Alien Data Cache, yeah, and some corpses. Excellent. Also, yeah, how are they? For research, the data cache. Hello, We're making progress. Got the engineer. Excellent. We are low on supplies, so that's not a surprise. Findings. Right. So it's 18 days until the resistance ring is finished. We could have that to 9 days. Or we could start excavating something else. And I think in this case, it's kind of hard, man. Because the resistance ring could be very powerful. Be more resourceful than your average trooper, but I doubt our forces will have any trouble bringing in a test subject for Tigan to look at, especially since he's not asking for a live one. There's not a whole lot that surprises me these days, but I'm definitely curious to see if the chip yeah, we okay. pulled from the you know what? really is Let's start excavating another uh, captains. Because we could go for the Guerrilla Tactics School, if I get a Sergeant, we can increase the squad earlier. That would be better, I think, than having soldiers sent away on missions. Maybe. On the other hand... Resistance... You know what? No, let's go for the Resistance Ring. Let's go ahead and do that. Nine days. Hope for the best there. Commander. 
We have a lead on the alien right, so that's the black side. We'll we can get some more rookies, resistance. but we were working on supply, so we're going to go ahead and do that first. We, try to make contact with we can definitely use it, because we're down to 25. It's the only way we're going to find out what's behind this so-called Avatar project. We get an Advent Officer Autopsy. That would be good to have. New objective added. Right, so we need the proving ground, but we're not going to do that yet. Hybrid materials inspired or resistance communications and resistance communications is I think more important right now because that means we can make contact with other regions and get more options for guerrilla tactics or guerrilla ops. Right, so we got 63 supplies of ooh, scientists. The scientists definitely takes precedence over the rookies. Because these guys are pretty rare. If you can get one for free without having to do a mission or without having to buy one for intel, that is so so good. Some of my kind are now in a difficult position. Can you provide us with aid? Ooh, a new mission from the skirmishers. Oh yes, it wraps. This is one with the loss. It's the third mission. There's usually always the loss there, so that was to be expected. But if we manage to do this, we can get another sharpshooter. And another ranger this would be really good as well as 87 intel and a scientist so as always that's going to be for the next episode so please leave a like and a comment if you enjoyed the content and i want to see more and i'll see you guys whatever video i do next